Hey everyone, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you the number one way to improve your tone on a saxophone. Now, this is a more advanced technique, so if you're just starting on a sax, this might be a difficult technique to get your head around. But if you've been playing for around a year or so, this is a great technique for improving your tone and getting those higher notes on the saxophone in tune and with more body and more volume. Now if you want to work on this exercise offline you can actually download the PDF for free of this overtone exercise at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash overtone exercise. I'll email you the PDF right away and you can use it offline while you're in your practice sessions. Now this lesson is actually taken from my saxophone success path which is a step-by-step -step path that I've created that takes you from learning the saxophone from absolute scratch to then advancing to learning your favorite songs, learning how to play by ear, learning how to jam with other musicians and developing the confidence to play for friends and family and even to play in public as well. So I've had many students go through through this saxophone success path and exceed their goals on saxophone. It's completely step by step, so you don't get overwhelmed, you don't get frustrated, you don't get confused by the difficulties of the saxophone because I show you every detail of what it is you need to learn in order to master the sax. So if this sounds like a path you'd love to follow, why not go and check it out inside my Saxophone Masterclass membership. You can learn more at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. We only open a few times a year, but if you go to the website, you'll see when we're open for enrollments next. And you can join the waiting list to be the first to know when the Saxophone Masterclass membership is open. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and happy playing. Now, if you're a sax player, you know all about long tones, you know all about the importance of playing mouthpiece and neck exercises, playing long tones on each note. But in this video, I wanna to talk to you about overtones. So overtones are a series of harmonics above a fundamental tone. So in this video, I'm gonna give an example of overtones above the low C on the saxophone. And then I wanna get you to play your first overtone on the saxophone. Okay, so let me just start by showing you some of the overtones on the low C. Okay, so we start on low C, which is three fingers on the left, three fingers on the right, and our pinky on that low key here. So we want to try and get a good long tone on that. Now I'm going to go up the overtone series one by one. Okay, so that's just the first four overtones based on the low C on the saxophone. So I didn't actually change the fingering. I kept holding down low C the entire time and then moved up the overtone series just by using my breast support, embouchure, and also hearing the notes in my head as I went up the series. So this takes a while to really get accurate and to develop, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you can begin this process. So the first thing you wanna know is what is the first overtone? So I'm gonna play for you again. Okay, so that first overtone is the C above the low C, an octave above. It's this note. So the first thing we want to do is play that note and hear it in our mind. So that's the note we're trying to get. So when we play the low C and we want to get the first overtone, we're aiming at getting that middle C. So the best way to start, in my opinion, is to just play that middle C and then quickly move down to the low C. Okay, so that's the final result that you want. You want to be switching from middle C all the way down to low C, but getting the same note. Let me play for you again. Okay, so this takes time to develop. The first thing you want to do is actually just practice with just your fingers without playing, like this. So we start on middle C, and we just practice going down to that low C like that. All right, try not to lift your fingers too high off the keys, like this. You don't want to, you know, you want to keep your fingers pretty close to the keys while you're pressing down every note, including that low C. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to practice. 
once you kind of get used to that, once you kind of get comfortable with that, then you want to start playing. So the idea is that you start on that middle C. And once you're playing that middle C, you want to sort of hear it in your mind. You want to hear that note and you want to aim to be playing that note while you're fingering the low C on the instrument. Okay, so a lot of this has to do with the way you're hearing it in your mind. So let's try it slowly like this. Now what might happen is that you get the note initially, but then you kind of lose it and it goes down to that low C like this. So you can hear there that I got the note initially at the beginning, but then it cracked and it went down to the low C. This is perfectly normal when you're starting out. So the goal is to hold that low C and still get that middle C sound for as long as possible, like this. So that's the goal, is to hold that overtone for as long as possible without cracking. Now another thing that might happen is that you go up even higher on the overtone series. So instead of that middle C, you're playing the next overtone, the high G like this. Okay, so there I jumped up to the next overtone, which is G. That's not necessarily a bad thing because we still want to be able to get the other overtones, but you should be trying to focus in on just getting that middle C. So try to focus in on just playing that middle C and holding it for as long as possible. Just keep working on that. Keep trying to get that first overtone and don't move on until you've really got it perfect. Eventually you wanna be able to just play the overtone without starting on middle C, like this. Another thing to keep in mind is to keep your throat as open as you can while you're playing. You also want to get as much breath support as you can. So you want to be taking a deep diaphragmatic breath when you're playing these overtones. Another trick is to practice in the corner of a room when you're practicing these overtones, especially when you're trying to go from the middle C down to the low C, but trying to match the same note. It's almost like the wall then echoes that middle C and it helps you to get that sound when you're playing the low C. I'm sure there's a bigger scientific explanation to why it works, but it really does help. And I recommend just trying that if you're getting frustrated and you're not able to get that first overtone. So this is the first thing you want to work on. And this is what I work on every time I warm up on the saxophone. So see how you get on with that. And once you have that first overtone down, you can start moving up the overtone series. The next overtone, the second overtone is going to sound like a G with the octave key. And then the third overtone is going to sound like a C with the octave key. So that's two octaves above that low C. So it's going to take a while to develop the ability to play these overtones. It's actually a very difficult thing to do. But start with that technique I just showed you to get the first overtone on the low C and then move your way down to B and B flat doing the same process. Once you've got that first overtone on C, B, and B flat consistently, then you can move on to the second overtone and so forth. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, this is part of my saxophone success path, which you can get inside the Saxophone Masterclass membership. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership to learn more about that. And not only do you get a curated path to follow with hundreds of lessons and videos and PDFs and audio files, but you also get feedback from me personally as you're working through the saxophone success path. So you're never lost. You're always getting feedback. You're always getting constructive criticism as you're working through the curriculum. Not only that, but there's also an incredible community inside the membership which you can share your progress with, ask questions, share your journey, encourage and motivate one another as you're progressing and mastering the saxophone. 
So again, we only open a few times a year for new enrollments. So if you want to see if we're open right now, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. And if we're not open, you can just join the waiting list and be the first to know when we're going to be open for new enrollments. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy playing.